Hi guys, it's me again in Diet. Welcome to my channel. So today I will be updating my Hermes journey for this year, 2021, since this year I will about to end. Now, well, unfortunately, just you know, like to take your hopes off, but I was not able to score a bag or a bag in the store or in the boutique because my SA was on medical leave, so I kind of paused my purchases. Now, there are purchases that we can really pause because, you know, it's Christmas and you want to give it, you know, to your, um, you want to give gifts. So, I, we did purchase some uh, stuff online and um, as well, I also want to share it with you. I Actually, this is not like the first time I unbox. Well, it's not really an unboxing because I already, I first took a video of unboxing and I decided not to upload it, but I'm probably going to insert it in this video. I, you know, I tried to... Um, you know to try to find all the stuff that i bought recently for the past three or four months but um there are only few that i found so you know just bear with me but i i did some unboxing the time that i purchased them so i'm just going to be inserting in the video so yeah um so i i learned a lot of stuff uh or you know in uh, in terms of this journey our we called our Hermes journey right now i know i'm not alone so in disappointment you know if you're new to this channel and try to start your journey with Hermes, um, I'm I'm very happy for you if you knew you started it, but just you know you're just lower your expectation. I know it's a brand, it's a designer luxury brand, but it's sometimes you don't really feel that way <laughs> in terms of how you will shop. And I'm gonna share with you with some other friends experience that I've known and I, you know there are also people who I'm very happy for them they're able to um they're able to um they're able to score their bags and we started to we started almost all together we started in the same store with different SA and she was offered a bag I started technical in September uh end of September um well just visit the store because sort of my first time to visit in hawaii i was not able to buy anything because i didn't know better at the time so yeah um she was able to score back from september without any well with a little bit of purchase history i think below three thousand dollars and she was able to score a birkin 35 and i was so jealous because you know we, we so there's gonna be a story like that but anyway it's okay i'm very happy for her you know each of us has its own different story and yeah and um and when i visit the store because i really just want to also you know i i visit the store on my birthday i even book a trip there in my birthday hoping you know it's gonna be something special right because it's my birthday it's our anniversary kind of like that stuff so i was thinking hopefully Hermes are gonna give me something because they are kind of pretty good in that um like even in the in the flagship store in in um in paris that they if you say hey it's my anniversary or it's my birthday sometimes they, they work out something for you which is very cool because you know you you want it to be this brand to be part of a special moment in your life and i think sometimes Hermes is pretty good in that it just it doesn't, doesn't work with me <laughs> so you know that hurt a little bit but anyway so but of course there's always other options so anyway uh, for any um so i you know, i'm gonna do some unbox so this is one this one was not purchased in store so i did well it comes with the ribbon and stuff i'm gonna insert the video i purchased it a with an with a, not a third party because it's not a it's another reseller who's based in belgium i think yeah so of course you know before this is also why a pre-love market is booming in in terms of you know hermes um, stuff because when you go to the store you don't really know what you're getting i think it's also part of hey you know like if i get better stuff or i might be able to get stuff that i'm expecting or not sometimes it's really not even 50 percent chances i'll tell you maybe 30 to 70 chances you're not 70 chances you're not getting what you want but um it just also depends on your location um you know when you visit or how what's your relationship with your sa now i have friends that hey you know one i have you know well me i don't have any like i work hard to be able to afford what i you know what i what, what i'm buying right so i have friends who have much more disposable income and they said hey if you really want to score a bag you're really you know you really 
would like or advisedly or like could say um it's more on friend not friendly advice so it's, it, it's it's a deal to just um stay with one as a one store because that's what Hermes you want you to do be loyal to the brand and to one you know person in your shop and to the store because at the end of the day the one who approve your bag is the manager right so aside from the purchase history of course right? but that is just very i also know one as a saying like hey if purchase his not all the time purchase history is especially if you're new like purchase history is like hey you have to spend one is the one if the bag is twelve thousand you have to spend twelve thousand there that is very subjective i think but that will help them to tell their manager like hey i want to offer this client a bag you know of course they can support what your history are right so that's very also subjective but there's also time like hey, i just want to offer this bag you know i see they're loyal to the store and you know to the brand and i you know this kind of stuff like that so anyway so i told my friend about it and i said like well the only thing that can constrict me in shopping if i don't have money that was it so no one can tell me where to shop but because that time you know we kind of showed sa and you know i kind of stopped my purchase and she said like no i'm just because we have another s well we were we used like my our first sa is she did i mean he did not respond to her to her tax so that's why she went to my second essay which is my second essay was my my um my permanent sa right now so yeah so he let, let's see what can happen i'm gonna share it to you since she already like purchased from one store moved to the other store and she really did quite a lot of purchase um like spend let's say ten thousand dollars here and spend fifteen thousand dollars here and then go back here she spend let's say let's run it up for let's say thirteen thousand or fourteen thousand so that's quite a lot of money right and she was still not offer a bag, but I hear that maybe soon that's the the other SA that um they are working to offer them a bag, which is I'm hoping and praying they were gonna get their bags. So I'm just you know, this is the thing, like if you know someone who's doing the same journey as you, you're very happy when they score a bag. Like, yes, you know, I was jealous with my other friend, which is normal. You know, I was honest, wow, you know, like how wish it happens to me, but of course it's different. And I'm so happy when the score bag, what they got from the store, even you're not getting it because, you know, like sometimes you already have the same thing. But it's just so cool when you knew someone who were getting stuff from the from the boutique because that's 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 kind of what it is. You know, that's kind of thing the game is all about. But anyway, so this one, um, so this comes with a ribbon and I've been really looking with this bag, I mean, with this charm. I know I think this one is like, you know, you can see the charm and when i was in the store last time they offered me the zebra the Gigi thing it was like a big head of zebra but i did not really like that so i said no so um because i was looking for the peg pegasus pegasi um pm now i'm gonna get my bag wait i'm gonna insert the unboxing that i did with this one so it's a very um like a lot of people want kind of this and it's with their charm you can especially with rodeo and this you can always really get it from the store like you're always out of stock sometimes you have it online and sometimes you cannot even from the time you add in the cart and pay for it it's gone so like that's how like you know but anyway i'm gonna show it to you and so this is the pm it's the Rue sakura this is the and it's really cute so now i don't want to buy stuff that i buy more than i bought from the store but i was not really pretty good at math when i was buying this <laughs> because i see this in this in you know the i think the retail the retail um uh, for this one is 680 but i was wrong the 680 was the the 680 was the mm which is much more bigger than this it's like this that one um so uh so i was like oh you know like i think she just probably sell it you know she has probably a lot of this and because i bought i purchased for 720 so plus stocks it's kind of come up just only five dollars more so i was like okay i'm gonna buy it but unfortunately i think my friend told me like no that is a 680 it was like five something 
like, okay but anyway it's very um it's it's not like not a lot of people like i mean it's hard to get kind of this you know th this combo stuff and it's like okay fine you know like next time i'm gonna calculate it right because i think i paid i paid 720 for this one which is but it's it's because i've been wanting this for a while and my ex i cannot get it so it's sort of like i really have to find ways to get it because <laughs> i really want it and that's i think the thing too because people it's kind of hard just to buy stuff that you don't like because just you know to build relationship because sometimes you end up with a bunch of stuff and then you're not really using it and i know a lot of people does that too and um either they lost their money and i don't want to do that you know i don't have money to lose to lose <laughs> so anyway so that's kind of what i have and it, we also bought um like their new anime like the you know like the the manicure i'm gonna a video with that as well no but by the way even though i didn't have any purchase any coda bag in the store i have a coda bag that i'm gonna share with you stay tuned so and then uh, my sister-in-law bought me or gave me this um it's uh soap with three only two here because i gave it like a gift it's this one so it has it comes with three of this but really so it's really cool it was a nice gift and and also um we my husband also bought a lot a couple of the bronzer like the bronzer from hermes it's so cool i, I use it i'm not sure if you can i just use a little bit of it but anyway oh, sorry. Oh, and it's really nice i sometimes use it just you know like when you are going to um, use it like, you know, like highlighter and in your eyes in really quick seconds, it's kind of really cool. Actually, I like that in. So, and then one of the favorite things, I bought this bag for my, for my um, second essay. So, and then when I, I was kind of tired of my luck because, you know, I already booked, you know, a, a trip to the store because I said we don't have store here in our, in our state. So I went there and I, I went to the same store. And um, I only, of course, I cannot really buy stuff because my is not there. But I really need a Twilly for this bag because I, you know, because it's a lighter bag. I really want to protect you know, the handle. And I kind of bought the same kind of this one, but in a different color, which is this color. So in case you're interested in that, you can also take a look with that. It's still the, uh, oh no, not that specific. You know, this is different. I think I forgot the name. But anyway, yeah, it was really nice, you know, and cool. <laughs> the coolest thing is I remember that this, I was telling you about um, one of the girl that I know who we started the same time, the same journey, September, the same store, but two different SA. Her SA is the one who assists me to have, <laughs> to, you know, when I purchase this. I just purchased one because I really need it. I, and then I'm going to do my purchase again when my SA is back. Um, hopefully, she's okay and, you know, everything good. But anyway, so yeah. And then this one, I ordered an unboxing, I think, for this. Which is, you know, I bought it from another um, girl. And she, I think she bought it from Fashion Pile. And she just resell it because, you know, it doesn't go with her other stuff now. Because it's like, okay, I'm just going to buy it and... I think I bought it for same almost no a little bit lower than this price because I bought it for four ninety. This one and um, which is you know it really goes well with this bag, and yeah, those are my purchase now. Um, you know the two bags that I got this year, and I really said to myself, I so November was my birth month, and I said I really want to have you know a Coda bag. Right, but of course, you know, so I was, this is the time when I realized why I'm just going to like go to a resale, like, you know, like, look, people have, because there are times that I've seen this, like, you don't offer a lot of bags, but people offer more, <laughs> like, they have, because go to bag, you can only offer two bags in a year, right, like, for either one Kelly, one Birkin, or two Birkin, two Kelly, right, so constant is not a Kota bag. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to like look in a resale market. Why not, right? So because, you know, it's my birthday. I really want something. So um, 
I already prepared to like, hey, I really want it. So I thought, I said like, okay, I'm done. I'm not probably gonna get it, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna wait until, you know, my ass offer it to me, but I'm hoping she will offer it to me really soon because, you know, I'm really excited to have it. And um, so I said, well, there are a lot of vintage bags. You can say bags, right? Say Mother Earth. So I tried to look for my date of birth, my date of birth of my daughter, you know, this kind of stuff. And then I encounter one, which is I get interested in. And that's what I'm gonna show it to you guys. So technically for this year, I was able to get a Coda bag in my hand. If you do not in the store, but I still did it because I want it. And so that's the thing. If you really want it, there's always a ways. Just, just you know, you want it, but, but do it in a practical way or not, you know, like not to like, hey, you know. Anyway, because there's, oh my God, like I when I was looking at it, like, bags in a resale market is you know it's so crazy how they do that but was well, that their business um i know hermes are not encouraging people to you know to um to resell their stuff that they bought from the store which is i do understand that if you really love the brand you're always gonna keep what you know what you bought that's why you have to just buy what you need right now but i said i into this idea i really want a bag in my birthday so and so i was looking into this vintage bag and but you just have to be careful because there are a lot of replica and fake bags out there especially with hermes and if you're not if you probably don't have any uh like a real one you probably don't see the real one you probably don't know what's the difference but just be careful because it's a hard money that you know you you know you work for and you're just getting the bag that you know that you you thought it was an authentic bag so there are also if you're gonna buy i know you, you know you just hey if, let's say for example you know you didn't have a hermes store and you really want to get one the only way for you to get it is you know purchasing it online so go to the reliable resale um third party or resale market whatever like you know i i, I know fashion file they have i think a very reputable um uh, they're a very reputable company so maybe you can check in there but of course you will gonna pay more and the thing is i also do understand why people just also want to pay more because rather than spending money that you don't really need and you just want a bag which is, i do understand that but if you enjoy you know their products their oh their, their shoes oh my god my husband love it my like they'll have a lot of stuff that you can purchase like you know like coats and you know they'll have really a lot of stuff not just bags so if you like that then that's okay that's cool and um because they also really like they like you can have like the brand is very like it's it's some of the luxury brand who like let's say Chanel, like you know like like the chanel bag that you know they compromise the quality of their bag so by the way <laughs> you know you already see what i'm handling now when i purchased this does not come with a desk bag the seller was so nice um she included uh insert in a tweet and i think you know what it is um from with the two handles and there's no desk bag so i just went like you know in a in a ebay and try to find the size of this one because i try my 30 did not really fit but that's bag and this bag so yeah and and i said you know i really did it and i can still tell myself that i was able to get a cotta bag in my hand for this year and hopefully next year for 2022 i still have a couple of days hoping my sd will call me maybe <laughs> who knows right there's no you know dreaming is free so why not dream big so anyway so yeah um so this is the bag uh actually it's a birkin 30 in epson and i have it open to uh, this is really nice and nice. so with you know with and with what the bag looks like right now it's what 2000 how many years eight eight 1998 so 20 years 18 19 20 21 22 24 years right 24 years now so it was you know it was still pretty good um i don't see any cracking but the handle has kind of have some scratch there but i don't really mind it that's why there's a truly in it um so i uh, i pay a really good price in this one like so 
like let's say if this bag is what let's say 30 let's say around 14,000 right so i paid the brand new one right the z stamp i paid let's say let's say 50 percent of that price so i think it's still good and i get to experience because i know what my wish list for my ass is i want a birkin 30 because i hunted this is, i thought it was too big well it's kind of too big because i you know i've seen this before and i'm gonna do a mug shot with this one as well to you you know so actually it's not and then they said other people don't like the you know the the epson because they said oh it's so plastic you just like the safiano prada or whatever but I have a Prada as well, which is, I love it. But uh, they said it's not repairable, which is not true. Um, the This is a press leather. So people was like, oh, I don't like that. But, you know, they buy Chanel Caviar, which is the same process what they do with that, with the Epson leather. And and I and it's much more lighter. So I think I don't mind because the Togo is much more heavier, but the Epson is not. And um. As long as you have, make it sure you, you know, because they said when it's cracked, you know, it's done. Well, you know, and I think this bag um, went to a spa before it was shipped um, to her, which is good. And so I don't know what they did, if they repainted it or what, but um, you can see the hardware is still really good and the inside. So I make it, there's a little bit scratch and imperfection and, you know, um... It was, you know, it was really a pretty bag, I think, in for the price that I, I paid for. So that means I was able to experience, you know, how to have a Birkin 35 and in a special price. <laughs> and I said, make it sure you got the authentic one. So have it authenticated. I paid $50 to this, you know, other, there's another one that you have to pay 100 uh, and then there's another one that you have to pay. And then for a certificate, I have, have up to $25. So I paid $75 to have it authenticated. And I don't mind doing that as I have my peace of mind that this is authentic. Even though I know what to look with authentic and not authentic, um, as far as I know with...